In this video, we're going to be making a lava lamp. Check the bottom of your screen and make sure you have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. We're going to be working in the front view in architectural scale. So to start out, we'll be using a line, and this time we're going to type in 0, 0 to make sure our line starts at the origin point, so that the base of our object is at 0, 0. We'll pull the mouse up and type in 14.5. All right, so we have a line that's 14 and a half inches tall. We're going to be using horizontal lines as guides to help us create our shape. So snapping to the base, we'll pull a line out at two inches. Then using our object snap tracking, we'll hover over that endpoint, pull our mouse up three inches, and come out one. Repeating the same basic step, we'll hover over the endpoint, pull our mouse up without clicking, three inches, and out two. Line again, hovering over this endpoint, up 6.5 inches. And out one. And finally, way up at the top, We'll do a line from the end point out just a half an inch. It'll be a little smaller. And I think you can already see that we're having that basic shape created that's creating the profile of the lava lamp. Now we could just connect the dots a little bit to make that shape even a little more obvious. All right, so we get something that looks like that. Now what we're actually going to need to do at this point is create individual segments so that when the three-dimensional shape is created, you have pieces that can be metal and pieces that can be glass. Otherwise, this will all be one continuous solid thing. All right, so starting up at the top, I will select these three lines and type in J for join and join them together. Then I will do move and I'm just going to move this entire thing off three inches to the left. I will replace that line at the top here over one inch and do the same thing. So J for join and I will join these three together. M for move and we'll move this off three inches to the left. Same process. 2 inch line, J for join, and connect all three. Move it to the side, 3 inches. And finally at the bottom, connect this line over 1 inch, J for join, and move 3 inches so all our ducks are in a row. All right, so you can see the basic profile of the lava lamp here. Now, a traditional lava lamp has a little bit more curve to it, so we could use a fillet command to uh, get this to be a little more realistic. So, F for fillet. We'll select a radius that's quite small. We'll do R for radius and 0.1. Now, if I select P for polyline, when I select each individual section, it will curve each corner where it's appropriate. Okay, so F for fillet, P for polyline, Pick this glass section and the two bottom sections. All right, great. Now, it's okay if the three metal sections are solid, but it would make sense to make the glass uh, hollow inside. It'll make putting materials on and things like that much easier. So we'll do an offset, O for offset, a very small difference, we'll do point 0.1 again. We'll pick this line and bring it inside. But because we had such a small curve here, it sharpened this corner up. So we'll do F for fillet, check our radius, that eighth of an inch will work the same from last time. Do P for polyline, and there we go. Alright, so now we have a nice curve inside as well. 
All right. Now that we have our basic profile done, we can actually revolve all of these separately to create a three-dimensional shape. So REV for Evolve, select this section, and we just need to draw a straight line. We actually don't even need to use that central axis line that we created earlier. All right, and I got a little ahead of myself there. It would make sense for us to close off this line and join it so that it's a nice solid piece of glass instead of two surfaces, one inside of the other. Okay, so I'll just join this end right here. All right, so with a line, just make sure I got it. Great, looks good. And then down here as well. I did that in two separate steps, you wouldn't have to. All right, and J for join. The idea is that this will be a nice solid piece now. Perfect, okay. Now I can use revolve and revolve this. And now we have our nice lava lamp. I can delete this original axis line I created and we could look at this in a 3D view just to make sure we're happy with it. Change to conceptual. That's looking pretty good. Okay. I'll go back to wireframe. And now we'll go to a top view. Now we're going to create the lava. So we know that the base of the glass and the top of the metal basically are meeting at the six inch high mark. So what we're going to do is change our elevation, ELEV, which is default at zero, and we'll change that to six. We'll leave the thickness at zero. Now we can create a circle. And we could make this maybe a half inch radius. Okay, then we'll change our elevation, ELEV, to something like eight inches, thickness at zero. And now when we draw a circle, we're going to make sure we have object snaps off so that when we click, we don't change our elevation snap back down to where the original circle is. Something like that might look pretty good. Change our elevation one more time to 10. Enter, enter. And I will do one more circle, maybe something like this. And I will do a half inch again. If we switch to our front view, you can see that these three circles are right in line with the base of the lava lamp. Now we can use the loft command and a sphere to create some lava. Okay, so using loft, L-O-F-T, we will select the three circles in order. Enter. And we could certainly type in S for settings and change this around a little bit. So right now it's a fairly smooth line, but if we change it from smooth fit to something like normal to, and change it from either all cross sections to start or end, you can see that it's changing the shape of the line. Maybe something like that looks a little more lumpy and interesting, okay. So you can get a little more creative with your lava, if you'd like to, to make it a little lumpier. All right, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna change this to an isometric view so I can get a better look at it. I'll change it back to 2D. And now what we'll do is draw a sphere, turn our object snaps back on, snap to the midpoint and out a half an inch and now we have some lava with a nice rounded top to it. We can use the union command to join these two separate pieces, the sphere and the lofted part together. Enter and now it's all fused together as one thing. If I go back to a top view and 2D wireframe. 
I'll turn object snaps off and I'll just move this in to where I think it looks good. It doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe something just kind of in the middle or off to the side just a little. All right. I'll turn it to a southwest isometric view and we can see that the lava is neatly in there. And if I change my view, I could change it to conceptual or something like that. But X-ray will allow me to see inside the lava lamp and see that I actually have lava inside. Now when you put glass and different materials on, you'll actually be able to see your lava inside of your lamp.